What is up YouTube? This is NanoPrince93 and today I'm very happy to bring to you another how-to slash instructional video and we're going to be talking about GBA for iOS 2.0 um, This has been talked about for about six months by, by Riley TestUT so you guys should follow him um, I made a video maybe like a week ago about just GBA for iOS on a non-jailbroken iOS device um, the original GBA was not as fluid as this one, and this one is very, very integrated. So this is the way you get it. I'll show you guys how to get it. First thing you want to do is you want to go to Settings, General, Date and Time. You're going to want to turn it off set automatically, and what you're supposed to do is you have to change your date to before February 19th, 2014. So I'm just going to choose February 18th, go back. Okay, so once you do that, you go to Safari, and you type in GBA for iOS app dot com, and that takes you to this screen. Which is awesome. I also have it up on my computer, as you guys can see. And all you do is you press download, and as you can see, what they've added is first off iPad compatibility. It's not just uh, an iPhone app. You have your own, if I zoom in here, it's redesigned for iOS 7, iPad support, Game Boy Color support, which is awesome, because I love my Game Boy Color Pokemon games. Uh, Drop Sync, Dropbox Sync, which is another amazing feature, so you can play over different devices. Uh, custom controller skins, which you can download, which I'll show you guys after also. A sustain button, which means you can hold down, like keeps a button held down for you. Cheats are, finding, cheats are finding, finally enabled, and you can use any iOS 7 controller, so like the Ace Moga Power, which I made also made a video about, which I'll have in the description below the like button. Um, and even if you're jailbroken, you can use the PS4, PSB controllers to play your Game Boy games, which is awesome. So that's basically the rundown. So what you do is you just press download GBA, install, and just like it'll install just like a normal app, which is awesome. So, I'll be right back when it's done. So this is what it's going to look like once the app is installed. You have this cool iOS 7 themed GBA for iOS. So to start it up, you just click on it. And you have a nice explanation here. As it, and it's going to say, if the app ever fails, like it crashes on you or, or it won't start up, all you have to do is set your time back to before February 19, 2014. Start up the app, and then you can change your time back. To whatever time it actually is, which is what I'm about to do right now, to show that it'll work once it is set automatically. So as you can see, you have categories, you have all GBA games, Game Boy Color games. Let's go to the settings. You have different frame skips, uh, prefer external audio, meaning so you can play the video game music or your iPhone music, auto save features. And here you have the different skins. These are the, uh, it comes with just like regular skins. You have to go onto a website, which I'll show you guys later. The download, and you can change the opacity of the skins. Uh, you can make it so it feels more realistic by having the phone vibrate every time you press a button. You can airplay it on your big screen TV, which is amazing. Dropbox Sync is available. And that's software updates, and then the whole team here. As you can see, it's Riley Testa. He's a beast. I cannot believe he finally finished it. But anyway, so the way you get a game, you just press plus, and it's going to redirect you to coolrom.com. And it's very, very easy. So if I want to get, let's go top 25 downloaded. Pokemon Gold, Yellow, I think. Yellow is going to be the way to go. So we'll just wait for it to load. Scroll all the way down, press download, name the game. So to start of the game, you just click on the actual game itself, and there it is. I love how it takes full advantage, it uses the whole screen, not just like a, sec a little section of it. It's very responsive, you can change, it's a mini button, fast forward, save state, cheat code, sustain button, I like to fast forward to get through it. And what is awesome is if it does freeze on you, 
and you have a saved game and you do go back and reset it, you still have that same game. It'll work for, for any game. This is probably the best thing that we've ever created, I think. So, yeah guys, that's how you install, run, and get games for your iOS 7 device. It is free. Um, there's more to come, hopefully, with more updates, more and more updates. Let's go back to the... <clears throat> and as you can see, if you go back to the menu, it gives you this cool like iOS theme, see-through kind of menu. I'm going to be downloading a lot more games. I might make like a top top five GBA games or something later on. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, and please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And then it works out.